Gobi to Go is an organization that takes electronic ride-on cars um, that children have to play with and we adapt them to make them accessible for children with mobility challenges. I was one of the lead OTA students on one of the cars. I just had to go to the child's home and I evaluated her, figured out what she can do, figured out what they want to work into the structure of the car as like a therapy goal. Basically just take her measurements and then come back to the engineers and say this is what we need. The skills that we learn is how to wire stuff and program stuff, so which is pretty awesome and we want to make sure they're safe for the kids that we're going to send it. So we learn a lot of new skills as well as what we learn in the class which is like programming. And wiring. I had seen um, the University of Delaware's promo video of their chapter doing Go Baby Go and I just thought it was the coolest thing I've seen, just something so original and just so cool. When I was in the OTA club and my professor Cindy came in and said, you know, we're partnering with Go Baby Go, I just like had to jump on the opportunity. It was just, it's such a cool thing to be able to do um, and I was thrilled that New England Tech is doing that. The kids enjoyed it. They wanted to take the cars home because they loved them. They like it, the colors, the stickers on them. They are able to drive it. They were having fun in it. They were totally thrilled. Um, a couple of them were a little overwhelmed. I mean, it was a really crowded environment. There was tons of strange people looking at them and everything like that. But I think once they realized like, oh, hey, I can move with this thing, they were just like all over it. Being a parent with a child with disabilities is a feat in and of itself. Um, you know, parents suddenly become specialists in their kid's disability, and it's just really cool to always be told, no, your kid's not going to do this, not going to do that, and they're going to have issues with this and that, and then being told, hey, they can drive a car, they can get around, they can keep up with their siblings. It's just something that's really awesome. So I think a lot of the parents were just really overwhelmed with emotions over all of it. They were really happy, they were joyful when the kids didn't even want to get out of the car, so that made me feel really happy and I'm glad that I worked on the project.